I feel like it's been ages since I spoke to you because it is. Um, I missed last Sunday's video. Apologies for that. If any of you even noticed, I'm not sure. Um, it is my first Sunday upload that I've missed since I started YouTube over two and a half years ago. So I think that's pretty good going. But, um, and the sort of person I am, I'm just like, once I get into a routine or something like that and the thought of missing a video just doesn't sit right with me but last weekend I felt like I just needed it, I needed that couple of days off um, because I wasn't feeling 100%, I know I mentioned this over my Instagram um, but I don't know, what, it, I wasn't really ill or anything but I just had a dodgy stomach for a few days, I still have it a little bit but I just felt a bit under the weather and yeah and I wasn't really doing anything either that I thought would warrant filming so um so yeah I thought I would just give myself a bit of a break um not be too hard on myself which is something I always struggle with and just have a few days off so I hope you don't mind but I'm back now and I'm basically just going to film a I think maybe a few bits from the next few days of my week to be honest because again I'm not really doing anything too interesting at the moment. August is a quiet month for us, um, we've had a few busy months this, I feel like we've had quite a busy year so yeah August is a quiet month and I'm, yeah, I struggle sometimes with what to film to show you because you know everyone thinks their life is boring, the day to day life is boring so um, yeah, I hope you don't mind just coming along with me for a few days. I've already been to the gym this morning. Um, it is 20 past seven, so Carl's gone to work. And um, yeah, we went to the gym together. I'm just, I've obviously showered and washed my hair. I'm just applying, I've already done my skincare routine, but I'm just applying my SPF 50 to my face, which I do every morning. Um, I'm not, going to wear any makeup today because it's just it's still really hot and the last thing I feel like doing is putting makeup all over my face so I'm just gonna yeah I'm literally not gonna do anything because actually this morning I am going to get my eyelashes um a lash lift by a lady on my estate Gemma I'm just applying some of the lip shade which is also SPF 50 um, I love it. Just smells like holiday. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a lash lift at eight o'clock this morning. And also yesterday, me and Carl went out for a bit of a walk yesterday afternoon, just along the canal near us. But we drove there um, in my car, and on the way back, we noticed that the tire was really, really flat. So it looks like I've got a bit of a slow puncture. Carl was able to sort of pump it up to get us home. But I've got a guy coming out this morning to change my tire because my car doesn't have a spare tire with it. Um, so I've got, um, I've got to be back for nine. Um, and then I've got a nail client later this afternoon. And yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a chill day. I'm gonna do a bit of work just on my laptop. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And then tomorrow, Arnie is going to the groomers, which I'm very excited about. So I'll show you his little haircut, um, a before and after, because he's only been to the groomers once since we had him. But oh, we need to get him booked in a lot more frequently. The only trouble is the groomers near us are always fully booked. So it takes a while to get an appointment. But he's going tomorrow, I cannot wait, because he gets really matted around his ears. So yeah, we're gonna have to book him in more regularly. Um, he looks so cute when he's had his hair cut. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to probably show you a few little snippets throughout my week this week. Um, but I hope you're all okay. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and you're all doing well. Hopefully the temperatures have gone down a little bit um, by the time you're watching this. Um, I know we're, we're longing for some rain just for our veg our little veg plants in the garden um, because yeah I mean we've started growing our veg at probably like the worst time um, in this sort of heat but um, if you've been following me on my Instagram you'll have seen we had spring onions 
yesterday our first harvest of spring onions which we were very excited about and actually I will be eating some in my pasta for my dinner later this evening so I will show you that too um but I have also I've already made myself a smoothie in fact it is out here on the landing um using our spinach plant that we have in the kitchen uh, in the kitchen in the um garden in the kitchen garden <laughs> um hello can you hear that noise that's arnie getting very excited that i'm talking to somebody who am i talking to who am i talking to you going to say good morning there we go good morning everybody say good morning everybody arnie can you say good morning oh. go on then be free <laughs> um but yeah so I'm gonna probably sit outside because it's nice and cool at this time in the morning. Drink my smoothie. Throw the ball for him a little bit and I'll catch up with you later. So I've had my eyelashes lifted, if you can see, um, and the guy has just been to sort my tyre out, so my car is now drivable again, which is a good feeling, um, although I don't actually need to go anywhere today. Arnie is coming through these sliding doors that we have because he's sussed out if you leave the door like ajar even like this much he's figured out how to open it haven't you by shoving his little snoot in the gap and nudging it open so if he wants to come in now we just have to leave it ajar and he can snoot his way in can't you can't you he wants me to play with you again don't you huh don't you but mummy is gonna water the plants outside because although today was meant to be, it is cooler than it has been over the weekend. So I've got the um, European Championships on in the background. I love athletics. Get down. And the diving's on at the moment, so it's not the athletics, but I love it all. Um, so I've just got it on the back in the background whilst I'm doing bits and pieces. But yeah, I need to water the plants because although it's cooler today a little bit it's still muggy and here in Reading we've not had any rain yet hoping that some will come later today or this week at least so I am going to it's, the sun isn't shining but it's bright um but I am always planes going over here um but I am going to water all of our vegetables and also show you our cucumber because i know i showed you before we had little ones i swear cucumbers grow so so fast and i think that is why they are my favorite of all of our vegetable plants i know my spinach is probably the most used and i've had the most produce from it but i think my cucumber plant i say my cucumber plant our cucumber plant is my favorite because it's so satisfying to watch them grow so quick so I'm going to go and do that and get all of these watered. Our spring onions, the ones we took to make our pasta, were only a few. We still have a lot left. And I have to admit, the ones in the pots are doing a lot better than the ones in the ground. I don't think we're going to really get any from the ones in the ground. But these have done really, really well. And we're just seeing how big, if we leave them, these ones can get. That one's quite sizeable because it's on its own in there now, so it's got plenty of room to grow. And Carl's little project of his basil is coming along nicely. But yeah, needs to get water in. So there is our first cucumber that I'm going to harvest now. I'm just gonna cut that off with my sacateurs. And then we have a second one just behind it, which actually is 
probably just as big. In fact, I think it might even be bigger. So we have two cucumbers, but I'm looking and I can't see any others. So I'm going to cut a few of the dead leaves off because there's a couple of dead leaves over here and hope that we get some more. is another one coming through it's very very diddy just here so hopefully get off spider don't eat my cucumbers um, yeah hopefully that one will come to another one but yeah love it so these are two cucumbers and actually yeah look the other one that I thought was smaller isn't it's actually perfectly formed as opposed to the other one which has got a little sunken bit in the middle but it still tastes the same I'm sure so I have just finished work for the day um, I've done a bit of social media stuff I've just finished with a nail client and um, I've done a bit of training as well and now it is 20 past six and I'm hungry. Um, so I'm gonna show you the dinner that we made yesterday and that we've got leftovers of um, that we made with our spring onions, which is very exciting. It is a pasta that we've always, well, I say always made. I think I discovered it last summer. So something that I used to love to eat when I was not veggie, hello, as usual, this one jumps up at my waist as soon as I start talking, get down, down, good boy. Um, no, get down for more than a second, please. Stay. Stay. He's now just circling my feet. Um, oh, I've lost my train of thought now. Arnie, get down. Sorry about that heavy breathing. He's got a ball in his hand, in his hand, in his mouth. Definitely not in his hand. Stay down. Oh, daddy's back. Daddy's back, behave, behave, daddy's back. Anyway, yeah, something I used to love to eat before I went veggie, four and a half years ago now, um, was a tuna pasta. You know, like tuna and sweet corn pasta or tuna and sweet corn sandwich. Well, and mayo, tuna, sweet corn and mayo, because otherwise tuna and sweet corn would be so dry. But tuna mayo, you get my drift anyway. And I came across a recipe, um, yeah, like a year ago, for a tuna pasta using chickpeas mashed up. So chickpeas mashed up, sweet corn, mayo, cucumber, and um, spring onions with some Dijon mustard in there as well. It is chef's kiss really really good it's so good and we've made it ever since and here is my tupperware of it i mean it doesn't look all that because it's a little bit dry now because it was made yesterday but i just wanted to show you because that's our spring onions in there can you see the little green bits it's not our own cucumber um because I only picked those two cucumbers today and the last one was eaten a week or two ago with a salad. But I could actually make this again, I've suddenly realized I could make this again with the two cucumbers that I picked today and I can get some more spring onions because some of them are ready. Exciting. We just need to grow um, sweet corn now and I could pretty make, much make this with stuff from the garden. It's exciting. So I'm gonna put this in a bowl because you know when I'm not on the go I like to 
eat my don't like to eat my dinner out of a Tupperware um yeah put that in a bowl I might add a little bit of extra mayo just to moisten it up again get down and yeah eat that but I just feel really chuffed it's so satisfying um eating meals that you've used your homegrown veg to make just thought I'd bring it outside and show you on the potting table. I don't know, I just think it, this is where it belongs. <laughs> but I just added some of this vegan mayo just to moisten it up a little bit because it was a little bit dry because it was made yesterday. And um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna enjoy it. Stood here looking at all the rest of the veg. No, I'm joking. I am gonna eat it at the, at the garden table. Because Carl, come home. Hello. Carl, you can come say hi. hi. Oh, hi. Oi! Carl. Carl. Yeah. Come say hello properly, please. Hello properly, please. Funny. Say hello to everyone. They haven't yeah. seen you for a while. Good thing for them. No, it's not. How are you? Very well, thank you. How was your day at work? Mm, same old stuff. <laughs> same old. Do you want some chickpea pasta? Yeah, I do actually, because you ate some of mine. I did have some of yours, yeah. So Carl had this last night um, for his dinner. And I did pinch some because I had to try, the, I couldn't wait to try the spring onions. Because what did I have last night instead? Do we have something else that I needed to lunch. use? Oh, you had it for lunch. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, like for lunch, not dinner. We had the same dinner, just not the same lunch. So that's why I'm having it for my dinner tonight, if there's any left, once he's finished with it. So, when I say, what are you having for your dinner? I didn't mean... <laughs> when he's told he can't have any more of my dinner, so he starts foraging the bushes that grow over our house. Don't feel like making some dinner for yourself, no? Don't need to. Just gonna live off the land. Yep. Mm -hmm. no, we don't buy our own snacks anymore, do we? We just forage. They're free up there. <laughs> <laughs> Is, that where come. Is that where mayo lives now? We're growing mayo. If I could, I would. Hi everyone. It's the next day. We're having a bit of a chilled day because I've taken a little bit of a turn today and again I'm not feeling too good but we've done a little bit of baking haven't we and um, I'm about to take this little one to the groomers to get you tidied up because you're a little bit messy aren't you? Aren't you? Huh? <laughs> Yes, you are. You're keeping mummy feeling good, aren't you? Um, so yeah, I've just been trying to get him to sit still so I can take a before picture, which we managed, but he won't sit still for the camera. So I am gonna, probably in about 15 minutes, take him round um, because the lady, he's going somewhere new this time. Um, a lady that just lives on our estate. She works for herself, works from home. So we're going to try her out because then that way we can just simply walk him there and go and pick him up again um, rather than having to get in the car, which is no big like deal. They did a good job last time where we took him, but I thought oh, if I can get him in with a lady that lives on our estate, then why not? So we're going to try him out with her, aren't we? And I am so excited to see what he looks like because it's been a while, hasn't it? And it's just mainly like his ears get a bit scraggly and they do get like little matted bits as well. Um, because his hair is so fine on his ears 
and then behind his legs here a very long so and on his chest but he's just gonna have a bit of a tidy and you're gonna look like a smart little boy aren't you a smart boy and here he is after his groom Arnie you gonna no you're not gonna can you show the camera can you show everyone how smart you look <laughs> you probably can't tell properly but he's all freshly trimmed she's not taking it too short she's kept it quite long but it's just tidied he's had a wash he smells lovely don't you do you feel lovely do you feel handsome look at him <laughs> but yeah I'll pop a picture up um, because the lady that did it, she, um, she took a picture before and after and during. Can you show off how smart you look? Good boy. Look how smart you are. Camera's out, Arnie has to be involved. <laughs> I just wanted to come on and close out the video. Um, because I feel like this video has been, a, well it has been a mismatch. A mismatch? I literally cannot deal with you. Yeah, this video has been a little bit of my whole week to be honest um it's kind of a reflection i think of how i felt the last week or two but yeah i haven't been feeling my best this last week or two i, I don't know what it excuse you <laughs> i don't know what it has been i'm feeling a lot better now <laughs> yeah i'm feeling a lot better now I, I, I don't know if i had a bit of a stomach bug just wasn't feeling my best um but yeah so i just want to apologize as well if this video is a bit boring but it just kind of the all over the placeness of it it's not even a word but we'll go with it um yeah it just kind of reflects my brain at the moment um i think it's just been a bit of a blur couple of weeks for me and that's fine we all get those moments in life don't we and the last two weeks have been that for me um but as always it's not the first time it's happened it won't be the last so i'll pick myself up and carry on which is what i'm trying to do this week but i'm not quite back there yet um so if you are happy to see me back give this video a thumbs up and um I can't imagine I'll get too many subscribes if this is the first video you're watching, but you never know. <laughs> Thank you if you do. Um, but I'm going to leave it here. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, a little bit of my week when I felt up to doing things, I've shown you. Um, but there hasn't been a whole lot else going on, to be honest. But I'm going to stop rambling now because this will probably end up being the longest part of the video. And... I'll catch up with you while I'm feeling a little bit brighter and I get my life together basically. Bye!